Hi, oh, yeah. So I'm Mr. Panjim. I'm head of computing ICT at the Road of Your Academy. And I'm just going to talk you through some points about GCSE computer science and give you some information about what the course entails and what sort of expectations there would be on you as a student, should you choose to do GCSE computer science. The exam board we use for computer science is OCR and the course covers two main sort of aspects of computer science from understanding how computers work which is looking at what is a computer processor, what are the parts that make up a processor, how do those parts communicate, how do computers communicate with each other, how do things work across a network, hardware, software, things like that. The other aspect is the principles of a computer programming. So you'd be looking at what computer programs are, how they're created, why they're created in the way that they are, um, looking at building strong computer programs. And you'd be doing that from sort of a level of creating really basic programs through to creating programs that solve complex problems. And you'd have to be able to do it not only on a computer, but also on paper. So you'd actually have to learn the language well enough to be able to write on paper in a computer programming language. The expectations around computer science are pretty straightforward. You're going to have to work hard. Computer science is a challenging subject to do. It's an interesting subject, I think, but it's challenging, so you will need to work hard. You will need to be fairly good at maths. To be successful i'm looking for students hopefully with a grade expectation of a mega six or more for their maths to really get to grips with some of the stuff that goes on in there you're going to have to be prepared to work outside of lesson times especially when we're looking at computer programming you are effectively learning how to write and communicate in a completely new language when you learn how to write a computer program so you need to be prepared for that you're going to have to be somebody who's got some resilience because when you're writing things like computer programs, quite often it'll go wrong. You'll find the reason why it's gone wrong, fix it, and then something else will go wrong. So you need to be resilient and ready to keep plugging away at stuff. You've got to be prepared for the fact that it is difficult. It is a challenging subject, and there are different parts of it that different people will find more challenging than others. But working together, you can really get through it. But it also is a really good subject because it will teach you a whole range of skills, such as being resilient. It will teach you things like problem solving, how to take a problem, break it down into parts, how to keep working at something until you can get really good at it. So there's a lot of good that comes from it and a lot of skills that you develop. You want to know how, at the end of the day, you're going to be ex uh, assessed. You're assessed by two exams. That's the only assessment. There's no practical assessment. Each exam paper is an hour and a half long. Part one goes over the computer system, paper one, computer systems, structure of a CPU, how networks work and things like that is 80 marks. That's half of your exam. The other half is about computational thinking, algorithms and programming. And that's the other half and that's the other 50%. That's also 80 marks. Who's it going to suit? Well, it's going to suit somebody or anybody really that's got an interest in computers and how computers work. If you're thinking of a career in anything to do with IT or computing, this is a good qualification to have because it helps you take those next steps and will give you a good basic understanding. Why would you do computer science? Well, there's careers for everyone. There's careers from network engineering through to cyber security through to computer programming through to computer gaming there's so many different things that you can do with computer science so it's really good you can develop technology of the future you can develop ideas you can develop your problem solving school skills 